Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to another video where I review something edible or drinkable. And today I'm going to be reviewing a new Coca-Cola product that I have to my left here. And this has a peculiar uh, name and supposed flavor. And uh, it comes out in regular and Coke Zero formats. Uh, I have already had the Coke Zero format of this one. Um, I bought them together while I was on a road trip and I said, let's drink one right now and I'll do the other one for the review um, for the video. So while I taste this, I will tell you what my thoughts were initially when I had the Coke Zero format um, and how it compares as well. But before we get into this, this is Coca-Cola Starlight, by the way, is the name of it. Um, hopefully short mini rant. And this is just about soda reviews in general. Um, before doing this video, uh, I did a quick search because I wanted to see if uh, a different Pepsi product ever came out. And that product was Pepsi Cafe. And I've talked about this product a little bit before. Um, it was announced December of 2019 um, that it would be coming in early spring of 2020. And they had many websites doing interviews with them and pictures of the product. Uh, they had a regular and a vanilla and the can design and everything was already created. And of course we know the pandemic started in 2020, but you would think, especially if it was supposed to come out early spring of 2020, things really didn't start shutting down until spring of 2020. So they must have got, been like really, really, really close to this release date, created the cans, tested the product, was ready to bottle it up, and then canceled it. And Never a word from Pepsi recanting the date saying this product is no longer coming out or really any uh, talk about the product at all. In fact, if you go to the original uh, pictures and everything and all the articles that quote the tweet that Pepsi made, those tweets no longer exist. So Pepsi not only canceled this and didn't say that it was canceled, but they wiped any evidence that they ever talked about it at all. Unfortunately for Pepsi, a lot of the other places had took those pictures. Um, there's even a, a YouTube video where someone talks about the potential of this coming out. All those pictures still exist out there, so you can see the cans. Um, there is a picture of a glass that has some product in it. I doubt it's exactly that. Um, so there's no evidence that it actually was ever canned that anyone outside of Pepsi tasters ever tasted it. Fortunately enough, we did have Coca-Cola that came out with a uh, product. I think it's still available. Um, but that came out, and I reviewed it. I thought it was pretty good. Um... Since then, Pepsi has done a bunch of other limited time flavors. Uh, nothing so far that has been like actually released. If you remember the Peeps flavor, they had the Cracker Jack flavor, they had the hot chocolate flavor, they had the apple pie flavor. Um, Dr. Pepper had that chocolate Dr. Pepper that came out. All those new limited time flavors None of them were actually sold in stores. You had to win some type of odd contest for them or overpay for them on a site like eBay to taste them, which I had done for at least all those that I just mentioned. Anyways, I don't like the, um, the win contest to taste things things, but recently Pepsi announced a new thing coming out, Nitro. Pepsi in regular and vanilla flavor and not only is that going to be available to everyone 
but you can go on the walmart.com website and pre-order it which i've done so when that comes out i will have it delivered to my front door and i will be able to review it as soon as it arrives right there on my front porch uh, i love that idea um you're gonna have these new products that you want people to try don't make it a limited supply that people are so interested in it can't get it or have to pay scalpers on ebay for it but good on you pepsi for making the nitro ones available to everyone and with the extra pre-ordering i love it anyway on to coca-cola starlight starlight what is that flavor well if you look at the, the bottle here it says space flavored right there it says space flavored what does space taste like are they trying to make up what space tastes like or are they really trying to recreate a flavor of outer space now i did look up online and see that if you were able to smell in outer space what it would smell like well i found out what it smelled like it actually does make sense it smells like burning rocks like incinerated dust uh just like an overall like burning or crushed rock smell and like that's pretty much all that is out there um, outside of the ozone um that protects the earth all that's out there are like burning or ice balls of rocks. So it's probably a good description of how it smells. Now, I'm assuming that's what it smells like. It probably tastes similar. So we're talking about like a burning, sulfury, rocky, rubbly, not a really great flavor. Hopefully, that's not the direction they wanted for this. And yes, I say that for no well, knowing full well, sorry about that, uh, biting them over there. And knowing full well that I've tasted the Coke Zero flavor, um, I'm actually really hoping that this one, you can see what I'm pushing like some like cloudy in the bottom of my nose while I'm speaking. I'm hoping the regular one tastes better than the Coke Zero one. Because the Coke Zero one tasted bad. And I'm a huge Coke Zero fan. Um, I think Coke Zero is the Diet Cola that tastes the best out of every Diet Cola that I've ever tasted. Um, it tastes, tastes uh, more similar to the actual product without the syrupy sweetness that a regular Coke has. I'm going to taste it from the, the cup. I'm also going to put it in a little cup that has some ice in it. Because, you know, sometimes when you mix something with ice or water and just give it a little swirl, uh, more aromas and flavors will come out of it. We're going to taste it both ways. Here we go. Coca-Cola Starlight. Let's give it a smell first as I meet my computer. New. Taste. Actually, smell it. It's not going to get distracted. has an odd smell to it. But you have to smell past the sweet part of it. That's what it tastes. It has a weird taste to it. Now it is more syrupy sweet compared to the Coke Zero version of this. The weirdness that I'm experiencing from this is the same weirdness I'm experiencing from the Coke Zero version. It's a little bit more pleasant because it's a lot sweeter in flavor. 
because of actual sugar over artificial sugar. But I don't really like that odd flavor. And it actually is like very similar to the smell that I looked up that space is supposed to smell like. It has like this weird minerally flavor to it. Maybe putting it on ice will help it somewhat at all. It has a weird red color to it. Okay, red that is. You can't tell as much when it's in the bottle unless you put like something really bright behind it. When you put it in this cup, especially with the ice cubes that have a lot of air, so it looks white in them, you never see that red hint to it. Into it. It does taste a little bit more enjoyable over ice. It dilutes that rudeness out of it, but you know, it's still there. Especially the aftertaste of it. It's not like spit out of your mouth bad. It is just weird in a way that wouldn't make you want to spend more money on the product. Um, it brings back to my, my rant before this where, you know, Pepsi had all those different flavors that were like super limited time. This product seems like something that instead of being in stores should have been super limited time. Um, Coca-Cola used to have that Coca-Cola Insiders program that I did for a few months. They only had it for a few months. They never had anything really particularly strange in it. This product seems like something that would have been better on that, where you can send it off to some people and they can tell you that this is not it. This is not the one that you should be going out in mass producing and selling in multiple versions this just it's not great and with other products out there regular coke regular coke zero tasting fine tasting great coca-cola starlight is just not it's not something that should exist really like i said not bad enough they're gonna spit it out Um, I might finish this. I might not. I'll probably sit on my desk and if I get thirsty by the end of the workday today, I might drink some more of it, but it also might not get finished. If it gets warm by the time um, I'm done working today, then I'm probably not going to finish it. It'll probably just go down the drain. Um, yeah. That's it for this uh, review. Coca-Cola Starlight. Um, no. Thumbs down, don't recommend. Does it taste like space? Probably, because space doesn't taste great. And this does not taste great. Um, 240 calories of something should taste a lot better than this. I will say that it tastes better than the Coke Zero one again. But no, don't do it. Don't waste your money on it. Uh, Coca-Cola, why? You were beating Pepsi all this time, making better products than them, announcing coffee-flavored drinks and actually producing them. Uh, the Insider program was a great idea, even though it didn't have many interesting products in it. Uh, way better than Pepsi's products. Well, Pepsi had more interesting products, but had 
worst way to get, get them out there. I don't know. I'm so disappointed in this. I don't know how to end this video, so I'm just going to say subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and give Coca-Cola Starlight a thumbs down. We'll see you in the next one, whatever that is. So long.